Hello. What's up, muggles? How's it going? It's Sophie. I am back with another video. So we are here with part two to the revamping room series. I am wearing the same thing as I was in part one. This dressing gown is so comfy and it makes me look like I got a ginger beard. <laughs> so today we need to sort out that. First of all, we've got to take down all the posters which are up, take down all of those little collectibles up on that shelf, and the sword, the broomstick, all that lot has to go down. And in this video, I will be finally painting the wall. So that is the plan today. We're going to take down the posters first, and that's going to be very emotional for me, man. But anyway, let's get straight into it. No more chatting. Time to take down the posters. <sighs> but actually wait before I get into the video if you are enjoying this series please give a big thumbs up for me I really do hope you're enjoying it it's a bit different to my other videos but I, I'm just I'm really loving it okay so I hope you're loving it hit that subscribe button to stay up to date I think after these walls are all painted and everything's down we're then gonna get into a bit of like purchasing stuff and thinking of different stuff that we're gonna put everywhere but like yeah painting today and take it Oh! Ow! Freaking out. I, I literally said stop talking. I still carry on talking. Let's get the posters down. I definitely know when I revamp this room, I am never using blue tack on these walls again because I've been here for a long time trying to get it off. It's the worst thing. Anyone who wants to do stuff to their room, don't use blue tack. I am actually looking at some posters which don't require blue tack, which are really smart. You can just tell how long I've had these posters up. You can actually see the marks of where they were. So many memories in this wall. <laughs> this is like really emotional now. Alright guys, so it's the next day now. Day two of painting the walls. This wall is now complete. I put a few things up already. The main attractions, should we say. I also think this is a great part of the video to explain why I did not paint my walls dark green. So many comments asked that. I even thought about it. But I did not want to go for a dark colour. The reason I went for white is because it makes everything else stand out. It makes the room look bigger. And as you can see, you can now see the props behind me. Before, when it was dark red, you couldn't really see them. They just blended in. But if I did it dark green, it would have blended in again. But trust me, I wanted it dark green. I was thinking about it. Just never paint your walls a dark colour because if you want to go white, it's so long. But yeah, today, I'm going to be trying to do that wall over there. Last night, I had to sleep downstairs on the sofa because there was so much stuff on my bed. All my precious Harry Potter stuff. But yeah, let's just keep going with it all right so this is currently what my bedroom looks like we've got this wall down this wall here is finished and painted we're gonna get the shelves up in a bit look at my bed right now i think i'm gonna have to sleep downstairs again for the second night i think i have a problem <laughs> i just put a sheet over my hogwarts castle so it didn't get wrecked it is now day three of the wall painting section and we have not got the bed in the middle of the room anymore we've got it over to where it is normally we've got one shelf up and these two walls are done all we got is that wall and that wall and the wall behind the door so two of the five walls are now white and it already looks so much bigger in here and the shelves actually match the bed which is really nice get that dark arts theme up in here once we get the shelves up i can have my bed back i don't know how this is all stayed together but i'm just super excited that these two main walls are done because these would be the hardest ones don't know what i'm gonna do today i have odd socks on right now but do they really count as odd socks when they're like voldemort and slivering together you know they're still themed to each other 
first shelves up over on that wall and we've put a few things on there. Once we get these shelves up over here, we can then decide where we're putting everything, but I actually kind of like that shelf there. So it is day four. I think it's day four. Oh my God, this background looks so much better already. Look how much lighter it is. You can actually see my room. But yeah, it's Thursday now. This wall is done. Just two more shelves to go back up on the top. This wall is done here. Bed is back in its position. I've been sleeping on the sofa since Monday and I just cannot wait to sleep here tonight now. Look how organized this looks right now. I don't know how long it's going to stay like this, like organized and clean. Well, I say clean, but if I turn the camera around, it is a complete mess. So much Harry Potter stuff to still put up. These are not what the shelves are going to look like because I might get some new stuff in and I still got this stuff down here and we got another shelf going up there. So once we get the final shelves up, then we will rearrange everything. The desk is back where it was. So this is all good. It's just this side has got lots of stuff on the floor, but I'm so happy because the important walls are done. Just look how beautiful this looks right now. And it's only going to get better. This is just the stuff I had to put back up and it looks quite similar to what it was before. Everything's falling down. Stop. But I'm going to be getting some new posters in. More dark arts themed. See why I wanted the walls white? It stands out so much more. But yeah, I'm not going to completely bored you and carry on the video of me painting that wall and the door wall. Part three, episode three, whatever you want to call it. We'll have those two walls painted and we'll start ordering some stuff online. Looking through your guys' comments and suggestions and adding more new stuff to it. And then I think episode four will be the final room tour. And I'm going to make it extra special for that. I'm going to add some special stuff in. These last few days, I've never been this productive in my life. I'm so tired right now. What is the time? Quarter to one right now. I need to get this video up for you guys. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Go in the comments down below. Let me know any suggestions that I should put in this room. You guys are as big a part of this to me building it. Hit that subscribe button to not miss episode three of me purchasing some stuff, putting some new stuff in and all walls will be done by then. I hope you're not too emotional and I'm just happy you guys can now see why I wanted to do this. Like before, this was lost. Now I can see it all again. But yeah, I need some sleep. I haven't been in this bed for a long time oh, i love you all i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in episode three i love you bye and well, hey you made it to the end of the video thank you for watching right up to the end i like you you're not a muggle make sure you watch my latest video by clicking here you can also click subscribe to my channel by clicking here and watch any future harry potter videos that i come up with and in the description down below you'll find my social media links and you may find a bit of merchandise from me i love you guys and yeah i'll see you in my next harry potter video adios whoa she disappeared <laughs>